the slider, go to the slider. Doing a little something, something. All right. So we always, I'm, I'm always listening to some uh, music during our break. So I'm glad to have y'all back. All right, folks. So every Wednesday we got Tech Talk, uh, where we feature African Americans who are in the um, tech space. Many of them, of course, uh, you may not know about. That's why we do this segment here. And so uh, tonight's founder has a line of ultra thin wireless Bluetooth in ear stereos. Sound developed by experts in the music industry. Welcome Orlando P Prendergast. He's the founder of Zuka Sound. Joining us from Toronto, Canada. Orlando, how you doing? I'm very good, Roland. How are you, sir? Uh, doing great. All right, so I'm a, I'm a huge uh, music fan. I'm always, I travel a lot. I'm always looking for a uh, great sound. So uh, tell me about uh, this Zuka Sound. Tell me about uh, these, uh, these, uh, in-ear uh, stereos, uh, what's so great about them? Well, um, the greatest thing about them is that it's quality. Um, we, we sourced raw material that we can offer quality for uh, very reasonable prices to our consumers. So um, aside from that, um, you know, the sound. The sound is very unique. It's got our ZSTS uh, technology, our tuning system, that uh, me and uh, a very good friend of mine, we, we, we developed. And um, I just feel like we've got a, a niche where we can basically bring the, the studio where these artists spend a ton of time and energy and money in creating that masterpiece directly to the, the, the listener's ear. And I think uh, with Zuka, we've done that. So, you know, one of the things that we talk about that quality sound, you're absolutely right. Look, n not, not all uh, uh, earbuds are equal. Uh, I, matter of fact, there was one particular company. Uh, I, I got some, um, um, some wireless earbuds, and uh, they had, uh, and I got a problem saying it. It was, hey, guys, bring me the earbuds on the corner right there. Uh, these my foes, and so we had the 05 and 07, and they proclaimed, oh my God, the 07, the 30 percent smaller, this great sound. And then when I got them, horrible sound. I couldn't even talk to somebody on the phone, and it was awful. Yeah. I did a full test, uh, and I posted it on Amazon, uh, and, and and that's the thing. When you, when you listen to music, I mean, I mean, you really want to have that clarity uh, of the music. Uh, and that's why I, I test a lot of products all the time, whether you're talking about Bluetooth speakers or even the headphones, because that's really what uh, what you want. You, you want to feel it. You want to have, have, that, have that, that, that sensory, if you will, that sensory feel of the music. Exactly. And I agree with you. And you know what? It's, it's really not their fault, because in this industry, I've learned that you, you have two options. You either enhance the, the voice recognition, meaning that when your phone rings, you, 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 uh, your, your uh, uh, device connects to that call. So you can either focus on a quality call or a quality sound. We focus on the quality of the sound. That's why we call it stereo. We, re we, we purposely remove the phone and add it stereo, because when you hear stereo, you hear of music. And that's what Zuka is focusing on. I'm, with my musical background, I, I, I really want quality of music. I don't care about the call too much, although the technology and the components that is integrated into these devices will allow you to take calls, et cetera. But the difference, one of the, the clear difference between... So with yours... Zuka, so so yeah. with yours, you can use them to talk uh, but as you were develop developing it, your focus was more, let's make sure that the music part is A plus and the talk part is A minus or Ex secondary. Exactly. Exactly. And, and Got no it. other, from my research, no other brand has done that, which is why they call earphones. Uh, I, I want... How, 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 first of all, how, how long have... Uh, first of all, how long did it take you to develop 
uh, these uh, these uh, Bluetooth in stereo uh, uh, phones? Five long years, man. Five long years. Wow. Sleepless, yeah, sleepless nights and um, loss of a lot of money because this industry, although I spent 28 years in the music industry, the, the tech industry was very new to me. It, it came to me as a dare. Um, and you might know the guy that, that dare, but I won't mention his name, but I, I'm sure off air you'll know who he is. He's very well known. He was the guy behind American Idol for the first 10 years um, in the audio engineering uh, space. But, um, yeah, it, it, it's, it, I, you know, the thing is, I really, really am passionate about giving quality for the price. I don't care if you pay $300 for a, a device, but please get $300 worth from that device. And that's really what our focus is, Roland. Uh, questions uh, from panelists. Uh, Robert, what you got for Orlando? Could you talk a little bit about it? And, and thank you so much for joining us. Can you talk a little bit about how the development process, what you did in those five years? Uh, we've seen a lot of companies recently that have got into the tech space, but about their development process is taking a flight to Shanghai or Guangzhou or Ningbo, uh, picking up a product off the shelf and put it into a new box. Talk a little bit about how you developed this product and what differentiates it to, from some of those things on the market today. Right. So um, I must say, the, the soul that you see right now, the actual design is not ours. Due to COVID, we have six designs that are, that are ours, that are creative, original design. But the, 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 the soul was a design that was given to me, that was introduced to me by a manufacturer. He was haunting me for years to use this design. And finally, when COVID hit, and due to the, the computer chip shortage, the global computer chip shortage, and us being the little guy, we were really affected. So my original designs are not yet uh, launched or even produced as yet. But to, to answer your question, it's a lot. It's a lot. Uh, and, and I've never, my manufacturer, it was in South Korea. I've never taken a trip there, but we've had long nights Zoom calls, et cetera. Uh, they took my uh, input. They took my uh, instructions. And, you know, the process is like anything. You have to have tooling, proper tooling, uh, which you have to create from scratch, which is a lot of uh, financial investment and so forth. And then, you know, you have to search and source the proper components. These components are privy to the public. They're, they're out there. You just have to source the, the quality that you that you want. And of course, when you attach quality to anything, you're talking about cost. And, um, you know, so the, the five-year process, we've done that. Uh, unfortunately, we tried to launch three times prior to, uh, to COVID. And again, we, us being the newcomers, we were always, you know, bounced back with regards to getting uh, our components manufactured and stuff like that. So with with this launch and the fact that I really, really like this design and they gave us the opportunity to to integrate our our sound and given us a few things that is exclusive to our brand. And that's why I went ahead and utilized their design. It cut a lot of time. And I felt like um, with the with the current situation, um, and, and the unfortunate um, uh, position that these essential workers are now in, uh, you know, from hero to zero in, in, in no time at all, I really wanted to do something in this sensitive environment to launch Zuka. And we, we created the Soul to Soul campaign that will benefit the essential workers. All right, Scott, uh, your question. Hey, yeah, hey, Orlando, welcome. Hi, Scott. Uh, thank, you for, thank you for joining us. Uh, part of your five-year journey, did that include making sure you had your intellectual property rights and your ownership of this technology? That's always a big deal with tech products. And um, can you comment on that? What do you own? Yeah, what do you own? And do you have your IP rights in order? 
Yeah, we do. We do have our IP rights. Uh, it's not fully, fully uh, granted yet. You know it's a process. Um, mm -hmm. the, the, the ZSTS uh, tuning system that we, we created, um, you know, that's, uh, that's a process that I really, <laughs> I, I, you know, my partner is a genius, Elliot Saran, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um, him and I, in the, he's a professor, actually, um, uh, in audio engineering and, uh, and mm -hmm. a musician. This guy's like Prince. He plays every instrument. But, um, yeah, that's not fully granted yet, but we're definitely look, looking forward to it. And, yes, well, we've been quick. using yeah, real Part quick, of our journey rolling, if I may, uh, your, sorry? your IP rights, not just in this country, but obviously all over the world, because you've got so much competition, and that does take a lot of time. So good luck with it. And a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lawyer. I didn't ask for the money All right, yet, then. We'll look a <laughs> little. Well, we'll look, we'll look, we'll look hit, uh, hit, hit me up off air, Scott. <laughs> I'll hit you up. <laughs> Thanks, Roland, for connecting. Well, I'm, uh, <laughs> Sir, Sir Orlando. Um, Sir Orlando, are folks able to purchase these right now? No, they're pre-ordered. Um, again, with the um, with the the COVID situation, um, our our mass production really just started. To be honest, again, we were able to get um, okay. two hundred thousand of our of of one of our component that we really needed to integrate and make our sound the quality that we, we wanted. So um, we, we've got uh, orders for over uh, fi the first 50,000 to be manufactured. So we will, get, um, we will get our first shipment within the next 40 days. So right now, we're, we're, okay. we're doing the, the pre-ordering, which you know, Roland, that, that's not a new thing. The publishing... Space has been doing that pre-ordering thing for for decades, and now the record labels are jumping on board. You know, before an artist drop a, a record, they 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 pre-order, right? And I guess that's the yeah, new business. Absolutely. All right, then. Well, look, I, I look forward to uh, uh, checking these out, listening to them. Uh, I am uh, quite finicky uh, when it comes to uh, my music. Uh, and so uh, I definitely uh, look forward uh, to testing these out, checking them out. Uh, and so certainly congratulations. And again, we need more African-Americans, more people of color who are in the tech space and uh, who are owning. Uh, there are a lot of people out there who, who are on the marketing side, but it's a whole different ball game when you're the owner. It's a whole different ball game. You know it, brother. Like Puffy says, I want to cut the checks. Right. <laughs> uh, absolutely. Or or or, 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 as I say, uh, I want to endorse the checks. There you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go, That's man. It. Orlando, thanks so much. I appreciate it, Doc. Thanks a lot. Good luck. Thank you, man. I've been admiring you for years. Thank you, man. Keep doing what you're doing, brother. I will do. Back to that my uncultured video in just one moment. Oh, that spin class was brutal. Well, you can try using the Buick's massaging seat. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Can I use Apple CarPlay to put some music on? Sure. It's wireless. Pick something we all like. Okay, hold on. What's your Buick's Wi-Fi password? Buick Envision 2021. Oh, you should pick something stronger that's really predictable. That's a really tight spot. Don't worry. I used to hate parallel parking. Me, Me too. too. Hey. You really outdid yourself. Yes, we did. The all-new Buick Envision. An SUV built around you. All of Time you. to be smart. Roland Martin's doing this every day. Oh, no punches! Thank you, Roland Martin, for always giving voice to the issues. Look for Roland Martin in the whirlwind, to quote Marcus Garvey again. The video looks phenomenal, so I'm really excited to see it on my big screen. We support this man, Black Media. He makes sure that our stories are told. See, this difference between Black Star Network and Black-owned media and something like CNN. I got to defer to the brilliance of Dr. Carr and to the brilliance of the Black Star Network. I am rolling with rolling all the way. Honored to be on a show that you own. A black man <laughs> owns the show. Folks, Black Star Network is here. I'm real uh, revolutionary right now. Wow. Rolling was amazing on that. Stay black. I love y'all. I can't commend you enough about this platform that you've created for us to be able to share who we are, what we're doing in the world, and the impact that we're having. Let's be smart. Bring your eyeballs home. You can't be black on media and be scared. You dig?